I am often the smallest RV at the campgrounds I camp at. And this got me thinking, is bigger better? And do I have any advantages over those big guys? Hi, I'm Randy, and every Thursday, I help weekend warriors make every moment count because weekends are just too short. In today's society, bigger means better. But does that hold true for RVs? I'm sure fifth wheel, motorhome, and other large RV owners feel like they've got all of the amenities of home. But do small campers have any advantages over these large ones? Let's find out. Let's start out with the big one, cost. According to Camper Report, RVs can cost between $10,000 and $300,000, depending on the style and features, of course. Most motorhome prices usually start around $100,000. And small RV campers can range in price from $10,000 to $40,000. Another cost consideration is gas. The lighter weight an RV is, the better gas mileage you will be getting. This could be a significant consideration depending on how far and how often you will be traveling. Next, let's talk about the next question most people have, and that is space. Will there be enough space? Well, my small camper is 18 feet by seven feet, and it easily sleeps up to three adults with a full queen size bed and a dinette that converts to a bed. Other small campers have bunk bed options and slide outs offering different sleeping configurations. My husband and our dog Princess comfortably camp in our small RV, the Little Guy Max. While I'm talking about space, it could be said that less is more. A small camper will require less upkeep and cleaning. Now that's a small camper advantage I love. Some might think a small RV camper means that you are roughing it, and that's not true. But today, small trailers are loaded with all of the comforts of home. I have every convenience I need, including an AC and furnace, a queen bed, and a kitchen. And a smaller RV does not mean you have to give up a bathroom either. Today, many small travel trailers have full bathrooms, or like mine, I have a wet bath so I can shower as well. My RV must-haves when I bought the Little Guy Max were a kitchen and a bathroom. What are the things that you can't live without in your RV? Another small RV advantage and one that's very important to me is more camping options. While most RV resorts have many large RV campsite options, not every campground can accommodate a 40 foot or larger RV. I mostly camp at state parks and these campgrounds do have campsites that accommodate larger RVs, but there are usually fewer of these and they tend to fill up pretty fast. The smaller your RV, the more campgrounds and campsite options you'll have. I have been able to get a campground last minute because of the size of my RV. And another consideration is national parks and national forest campgrounds. Not all of them can accommodate larger sized rigs. If these type of campgrounds are attractive to you, having a shorter RV can make a big difference. Another advantage is smaller RVs are easier to tow. Today, small travel trailers and RVs are being built lighter and lighter so they can be towed with compact SUVs, lightweight trucks, and similar. And do you already own a vehicle that might be able to tow a small camper or not sure? Grab your vehicle information and check out the Good Sam Tow Rating Guide. I will leave a link to this in the video description below. Sometimes being just a foot or two shorter makes parking and maneuvering an RV much easier. How comfortable will you feel changing lanes, making U-turns, and backing up? How will you maneuver around a crowded gas station? 
truck stops oftentimes better accommodate large RVs, but if you'd like to expand your options, then fueling up a small RV can make maneuvering around a gas pump much easier and less stressful. We often stop to get a bite to eat while traveling and pulling into congested restaurant parking lots and finding a spot large enough for us can be challenging. And this can be challenging enough with a small RV. So a larger RV will just make these situations a little bit more stressful, especially if you're not used to towing and maneuvering a large RV. And don't forget, as you travel, you maybe end up driving through mountain passes, high winds, and switchbacks. Boondocking also tends to be better with a smaller RV as you may find yourself on some back dirt roads. Small RVs definitely have a maneuverability advantage over large RVs. Is that a word? When it comes to maintenance, smaller RVs can also incur less costs. Since small trailers have no engine and fewer components, less can go wrong. It just makes sense that fixes could be less. Not to say that major maintenance costs can never occur, just that they're more unlikely to occur. Also, yearly maintenance, like winterizing and dewinterizing, will take less supplies and time. If you want to store your RV at your home, do you have enough room? Or if you need to store your RV elsewhere, does the storage facility you're hoping to use charge more for storage past a certain length? Storage convenience and storage cost can also be a big small RV camper advantage. What size is the best size? The best size is the size you'll be comfortable traveling in and one that fits your needs and budget. Bigger isn't always better. You don't need a huge RV to make unforgettable memories.